Insider, the only entertainment show with break and opposing views, is back with special guests, Countess Luann Delisaps from The Real Housewives of New York City, and of course, ooh, Lemony Nisi Nash. <laughs> Listen, I got a burning question for you, Chris Jacobs. Yes. Is Will Smith's son, 11-year-old Jaden, doing kissing scenes already? Uh, you know what, Nisi? He is. The young star just opened up to me about that and his training in the Karate Kid. Now, Jackie, you choreographed some of the fight scenes. What was that like for you? Lucky. We have a very good student. <laughs> Jaden Smith learns from the master Jackie Chan in the remake of the classic film The Karate Kid in theaters today. But Smith proves he's a lover and a fighter with his first on-screen kiss. What was that experience like? Awkwardness. Here, utter awkwardness man it's just like right here somebody's face is right here and you're like skin on how's your day going mom and dad will smith and jada pinkett smith may have been producers on the film but it seems mom was shut out of her baby's big kissing scene your mom was banned from the set essentially during your uh, kiss scene she agreed to stay in the tent because she knew that she would come out like Jaden, what are you doing boy here we go Jay B. Uh -huh. Jaden, I want to ask you about uh, your experience with Justin Bieber. I know you guys made some music together. Oh, yeah. How was that? That was awesome. He has a lot of energy. He's funny. It's called Never Say Never, and it's actually at the end of the karate game. Like your dad, you're going to be a, a double threat? Hopefully. Yeah? Triple threat. Triple my dad threat. can't dance, but I can. Never say never. Jaden is like 11 going on 30. Huh? Well, you know what? He is great in this movie, but right now, here's what's coming up next. We would never have taken money from no. him. Gary Coleman's estranged mom and dad today after Todd Bridges spoke out to us. He doesn't want them around, period. And I don't think he even wants them around even in death. In death, are they now feuding with Gary's TV brother? There's a reason why he didn't speak to you. <laughs> Did Palin just get implants? The surprising side-by-side -side shots. And he was the star behind the mask. I didn't even really know where I was. Inside of Jersey Mom's new tell-all. After more than a year as a sex slave. More of the insiders breaking news with opposing views on the way. The Insider with our panelists from the Real Housewives of New York City, Countess Luann Delaceps and Nisi Nash. We're tracking your input on Gary Coleman's estranged parents' new sit-down. We're asking, is it all too little, too late? Vote on theinsider.com. The tally's ahead. But first, earlier you saw Hillary talking about Chelsea's upcoming wedding. Well, now some gossip on Sarah Palin. Did she just get breast implants? I'll take this one, Lara. There has been a rumor flying all over the internet after pictures appeared of former Alaskan governor looking a little bit bigger at the Belmont Stakes last weekend. Here's a little before and after. Now tell me, what do you guys think? Mm. I think it's called a miracle bra. Mm. Get into Tullets. it. Tullets. Well, a Palin insider ripping the rumor, telling usmagazine.com it's absolutely ridiculous. Pretty good stuff there, Nisi. And now I have some gossip. Check this out. Faye caught hiding her face. This is the new photo that has everyone wondering what's up with Faye Dunaway, much like Sarah Palin at the mm -hmm. Belmont Stakes. <laughs> the 69-year-old actress spotted by cameras at LAX wearing a face mask and sunglasses. Hmm, remind you guys of anybody? All right, that is great stuff, but I have something really cool, you guys. Why is Kathy Griffin so happy? Lara Spencer has made my dreams come true. Yay! This is so great. All right, so you guys know she's my pal. She asked me to help her redecorate her house. You guys know I like to moonlight, the whole decorating thing. Little did I know she was also shooting the D-list, and I became a character on it. They chronicled the entire renovation. You guys will get to see the before and afters when Kathy's Emmy award-winning show starts its new season on June 15th on Bravo. I can't wait. That is going to be so great. I can't wait to see that character in you. Yeah. Great. Get out. She told the woman in charge that her dad was having surgery. They let her go, and Jillian walked away with a fat envelope of cash and jewelry. Monday on The Insider, the Twilight Eclipse cast sits down with our Chris Jacobs and Nisi Nash's vacation getaway. Monday on The Insider. Right now, more on Gary Coleman's estranged parents' new sit-down today.
what Gary's parents claim caused their headline making rift, plus how they really think he died. It's time to go in depth. A lot of people have pointed fingers at you over the years that uh, his will purposely kept you out. He didn't want you involved in his life. He felt that you had been siphoning money off over the years. You have always denied that. So why do you think your relationship with your son was so irreparably damaged? Outside in the theaters, influence. Gary Coleman's parents live on the Today Show telling Meredith Vieira what led to the nearly 20-year estrangement with their son. You know, he wanted to be his own man. As far as the money goes, we would never have taken money from no. him. Todd Bridges with The Insider last week. He felt that he suffered a lot at the hands of him, and um, he doesn't want them around, period. And, and, and I don't think he even wants them around even in death. And what is your reaction to that? There's a reason why he didn't speak to you. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know what Todd's perception of us is. And at this point, it really doesn't matter. Holding hands and fighting tears, Sue and Willie Coleman said there is little mystery what killed their son. His body had come to the point where it had reached the, the pyramid of the sickness by having no kidneys. Well, you heard it straight from Gary's own mother and father. Now it's time for our online poll. We asked, is it too little, too late? What side are you on? So far, 68% of you say that you're not buying it. It is too little, too late. But 32% say it's never too late. There still is parents, after all. And those numbers can change as more votes come in. But for now, the insider viewers have spoken. Indeed they have. But wait until you hear our picks for best and worst celebrity of the day. No housewives this time, Nisi. Oh, no. But I I am going after one very crass New York lady. Oh my goodness. Where am I? Look at that be? Our best and our worst celebrities of the day. Countess, do we do our best? Thanks, Lara. It is Lady Gaga. Her new music video, Alejandro, is heating up the web. She's always reinventing herself and never disappoints. Never, never love disappoints. her. disappoints. However, oh. it's not deja vu, people. Please explain, Nisi, by giving us our worst. I hate to say it, but it's also Lady Gaga. What? He has a double, <laughs> double dip. Yes, Gaga, we love you, but let's just say you got a little too spirited at the Mets game yesterday. Taking off your clothes, flipping folks to burn. <laughs> Girl, settle down, and until you do, accept this award. Wow, when she takes the mask off, she goes nuts. <laughs> yeah, Gaga, I win Gaga. Woo, all right, everybody catch Nisi on the Style Network's Clean House and Countess Luann Delaseps. Thank you so much for being here. Everybody watch the Countess on Bravo Monday for part two of the Real Housewives of New York City reunion show. We'll see you all on Monday. Until then, good night from Hollywood and The Insider.